me try to refresh your memory, if I may. Sir. Sure. Do you recall in this June of 91 calling Mr. Damiano in North Carolina and saying the following to him? Hello, this is Mitch Berman. How are you? The address here is 29 and 2934 and a half Beverly Glen Circle, Suite 412, Bel Air, California, 90077. Mr. Damiano repeating it to make sure he got it correctly. You saying yes, that is correct. Do you recall that? Can I object? And uh, was this something that was turned over to us, a transcript that you're reading from? It's not a tape, <laughs> Mr. Snyder. Was it a note of a conversation that your client gave to you? Yes. Deposition's over. We're leaving. We're leaving. Let's go. We're leaving. You're saying that a That's communication right. between me and my client is discoverable? Your client obviously kept notes from 1991 of a conversation which he didn't Oh, that's an, inference. that's an inference that you're making, sir. And I would ask you... You're reading from a transcript now. I'm not looking at it, but I can tell that's what you're doing. Mr. But Snyder, Mr. Snyder, Mr. Snyder, you are jumping to conclusions. You're reading from a paper, right? I am reading from a confidential, and I didn't realize I had to... I'm not reading. Do this. I mean, I think there'd be some degree of no. professional courtesy no, that I wouldn't have to cover my notes. Your client's been turning over documents late. And Mr. Snyder, and we just found out documents were destroyed. So please, get off your before high the horse. Lawsuit. Get off before your the, high horse, Before please. the lawsuit was filed, thank you. Blank pieces of paper. Before not blank, the lawsuit not was blank, was blank filed. pieces of paper. Documents that he's contending were illegible. And what are you saying right were now? Not blank when they came across the facts you're, you're, line. You're, you're and what I'm saying, sir, is, is that a communication from my client to me that he re remembers a conversation for you is grounds to terminate a deposition. I would suggest that you do this, sir. Mm -hmm. Get some air. Talk to your partner, and I mean this with all seriousness and sincerity and tell me whether you really want to terminate this deposition because I say to you, if you do it, you do it at your peril, without basis, and it, it, it would be something you, I think you would regret in okay. a cooler moment. Fine. Okay? Let me ask you this. Your, your representation is that when, as you read from whatever you're reading from, your client has no notes of anything that uh, forms the basis of any of these questions? As, as I've made clear to you, I am not shy about telling you if my client has not given me something. I've made that clear to you, and you've seen that. Even when it's not to my advantage, I've done that. And you know I've done that. I know you have. Okay? And I would do, I would, the base of my would not hesitate to do that. All I can tell you is, you really all I can tell you is that if I ask my client to recount a conversation, and he does so, and his wife types it, God bless him. Right. Yeah, why Sir, can't I do you're that? Reading, you're reading, as you know, you're re it appears that you're reading something verbatim of something that happened five years ago. And when you start it's a list. Of, it's word, a list of questions. When you start reading, I'm not asking <laughs> you to tell yeah. me what you know. When you're reading something verbatim, word for word, about a conversation that I had five years ago, instead of saying, sir, in substance, did you say the following? But you're literally giving with adverbs, adjectives, prepositions, word for word, asking him whether he said that, the other one said that five years ago. It gives us a moment to pause and be concerned that all he I can has say notes you, of those conversations that we haven't been provided okay, with. Okay, all I can say to you yes. is that I don't have any such notes, and he's not disclosed to me that he has such notes, and I've asked him for such notes. That's all I can say Might to you. Exist? Not to my knowledge. Can, That's all I can, what else can I say to you? you see, I, all I can do is ask for them. I don't, just like you don't control Mr. Dillon. Right. right, I have only so much control over my clients, I Mr. Understand. Damiano among them. When he gave you the verbatim uh, quote that his wife typed or whatever quote typed for you, did you ask him? Now you're asking for privileged communications, well, Mr. Well, Snyder, and I'm not going to well, get into that. Ask, well, the, the obvious disadvantage and unfairness would be, for example, if he had notes that you're unaware of sitting here today of these conversations that I wasn't provided, then I w would have been unable to give my client those notes to prepare him for this deposition. I don't have them. I understand you don't, but you have some verbatim quotes of something that allegedly happened five years ago. And I'm doing it again. Oh, okay. And and and.